hello and welcome back to this channel once again now in the previous lessons we had limited ourselves to resistive circuits and in this lesson we are basically going to introduce ourselves to another important passive element which we call the capacitor so unlike resistors which consume or dissipate energy capacitors on the other hand do not dissipate energy but rather what they do is they store energy which can be used or retrieved at a later date now in this lesson we are basically going to look at what a capacitor is all about and then we try to understand the current voltage relationship of a capacitor now if this is your first time watching this channel do want to subscribe to the channel like the video and share the video to all your friends so let's get into today's lesson what is a capacitor now a capacitor is nothing but a passive element that is designed to store energy in its electric field so a capacitor is a passive element that has been designed to store electrical energy or better still energy in its electric field now as you can see here in the first diagram a capacitor is made up of two metallic plates so these are the two metallic plates and this is the first one and that is the second one and then these two metallic plates are separated by an insulator or a dielectric material and the spacing between the two metallic plates is referred to as D. So we have two metallic plates in here separated by a dielectric material or an insulator and the spacing between the two metallic plates is what we refer to as D. That is the physical spacing between the two plates. Now the metallic plates are usually made of aluminum foil whereas the insulator or the dielectric material is usually air, paper or ceramic and so on and so forth. So basically this is how a capacitor looks like. It has two metallic plates separated by a dielectric material and the spacing between the two plates is said to be D. Now let's move on to the second diagram. Here we have a time varying voltage source connected across a capacitor. So when a time varying voltage is connected across a capacitor, what really happens is that the source voltage deposits a positive charge on one plate of the capacitor and also a negative charge on the other plate of the capacitor. Now at this point in time, the capacitor is said to have stored electric charge. Now the electric charge that has been stored by the capacitor Q is said to be directly proportional to the voltage applied across it. Now at this point in time, if we want to remove the proportionality sign and then we introduce an equal to sign, then we are going to have Q to be equal to C times V, where C is said to be the proportionality constant and C here is called the capacitance of a capacitor. So this is the capacitance of a capacitor and the unit for capacitance is farad. So let's call this our first equation. That is Q is equal to C times V. Now from this same equation, we can rewrite or we can basically say that the capacitance of a capacitor C is equal to the charge divided by the applied voltage. Now in this case, we can define capacitance of a capacitor as the ratio of the charge on one plate of the capacitor to the potential difference or the difference in voltage between the two plates of the capacitor. So basically this is said to be the first equation for the capacitance of a capacitor. Now even though the capacitance C of a capacitor is equal to K over V, the capacitance does not depend on Q and V, but rather it depends on the physical dimensions of the capacitor. So by this we can say that C is equal to epsilon times A divided by D. And this is basically the second definition or the second equation for the capacitance of a capacitor. Now we have epsilon to be the permittivity of the dielectric or the insulator. We have A to be the surface area of each metallic plate. And then we have D to be the physical spacing between the two metallic plates. So at this point, let's try to understand the relationship between each of the three parameters and the capacitance of the capacitor. So first of all, considering the dielectric material, the higher the dielectric value, the greater the capacitance. Secondly, 
the larger the larger the surface area of each metallic plate the greater the capacitance and then lastly the smaller the spacing or the distance between the two metallic plates the greater the capacitance so basically these are the relationship between each of the three parameters and the capacitance of a capacitor now in the next section we are basically going to understand the current voltage relationship of a capacitor